Ladies and gentlemen, make your attention now to the stage for Blake Rule. Fantastic. Oh you did fantastic. I don't know how I'm going to follow that opener. That was that was brilliant. You were great. Wow. I told you, I get some credit. Yeah, yeah, you're going to make it in this biz, kid. I, yeah, you've got a future. That was fantastic. Give it up for this guy. I, wow. That was, you did a great job. You did a great job. Wow. Oh, uh, uh, welcome to my living room. I, uh, I pay rent here. Uh, usually, uh, this is where my uh, roommate's rock band practices. Uh, hey, here's a joke. Uh, if you want to find really cheap rent in Austin, move in with a guy that plays drums in the living room. <laughs> but, um, tss. Now that's, now that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Uh, we are recording this for an album, so... Woo! So... Woo! I hope it's funny. Yeah. Uh, and we're filming this. Uh, Davis, every, uh, Davis is filming this. Everybody turn and wave at Davis. Hey, Davis. Hi, Davis. Davis is, did you flick off the camera? <laughs> Davis is filming this. Uh, he agreed to be paid in vapes. <laughs> yeah. And, uh... And that's me. Well, uh, I guess now it's time for what everyone's been waiting for. Me! Yeah! <laughs> Talking about myself. <laughs> for 20 minutes. <laughs> while nobody gets up to go pee. <laughs> Davis is filming this, so if you get up to go pee, it's gonna make me look really bad. If you need to go, we can pause. We can stop. Everyone's good? Good. Great. Well, uh, I wrote some, wrote some jokes down here somewhere. Let's see what I got. Uh, wow, sold out show, seventh night in a row. Wow, welcome to my living room. Uh, my roommate's rock band practice is here, but um, just, we're recording this. Davis gets paid in vapes, blah, blah, blah. Now time for what everyone's been waiting for me. That's all I have written down. <laughs> Well, if you're looking for fun things to do in Austin. <laughs> last week I went to Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> it's right next to Marshall's. I couldn't believe how many fabrics they had. If you like touching lots of different textures to feel how they feel in between your fingers, then this place is for you. I touched everything. <laughs> Plus, there's no line for the bathroom. <laughs> Joanne Fabrics. <laughs> it's right next to Marshall's. <laughs> I uh, invented a new instrument. It's called the hamburine. It's like the tambourine, but instead of where the tiny symbols are, there's ham. <laughs> and when you shake it, it sounds like this. <laughs> you know, some people like to do crowd work, but not me. I like to do crowd gaslighting. Y y you there. <laughs> what do you do for a living? I take pictures for a living. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> I never said that. <laughs> 
<laughs> Thank you. Um, well, I had written a joke about domestic violence, but for me, it just hits too close to home. All the time, people are asking me, Blake, what do you want to be when you grow up? I want to be a horse. I want to be a horse so bad. I just want to run through grassy hills with big, strong, massive legs and a, a long, beautiful mane flowing behind me in the wind. God, I just want to be a horse so bad. And I wouldn't be like one of those lame horses that works for the cops. <laughs> I'd be a bad boy horse. <laughs> the kind of horse you can't tame. <laughs> just running wild through the streets. You can't catch me. I'm a horse. I'm a bad boy horse you can't tame. <laughs> well, I have been trying to take my relationship with my girlfriend more seriously. So I unfollowed all the girls on Instagram I think are hot. <laughs> so if you're a woman and I still follow you on Instagram... <laughs> you're ugly <laughs> here's my impression of a Nazi Tyrannosaurus Rex <laughs> you ever notice rappers never rap about how much they love having sex with their wives which makes rap music totally unrelatable to me. I love having sex with rappers' wives. <laughs> All right, that's a weird one, I'm sorry. Uh, speaking of music, one thing I think God and Kenny G have in common, they both deserve to be capital G's. <laughs> They both stick to the G code. <laughs> Neither one snitches. God, you can tell them all your worst sins. You won't tell anyone. And Kenny G, I listened to his last album. He didn't say anything. <laughs> all right, let's do a little crowd work. Uh, you there. Did you think that last joke was funny? <laughs> well, that concludes the crowd work portion of the show. <laughs> Let's see, I know I have some more jokes written down here somewhere. <laughs> my Will by Blake Rules. After I die, I want my... Oh, this aren't jokes. This is my will. I'll just leave that over there. You know, my friend moved away recently, and I inherited all their house plants. So now I have house plants. They say it's good for your health, but to me, it just kind of feels like being a divorced dad. You just have to check in on them once a week to see if they're still alive. <laughs> Every once in a while you notice one get a little bit bigger and you think, all right, I'm a good dad. <laughs> I'll be sad if one of them dies, but we can oh, always grow more. Oh, good looking out. <laughs> well, 
if you're having multiple babies, you're making traffic worse in the future. I'm not mad at you yet. But I will be later. All right. All right. We're having a good time. You guys are a good crowd, you know. Folks, my favorite restaurant to go to is Olive Garden. Because they grate the cheese on top of your food until you say when. But I don't. And the cheese begins to fill up the bowl and fall over the sides onto the table. And the cheese begins to fill up the table and then fall over the sides onto the floor. After a while, the cheese begins to fill up the restaurant until it pours out the door into the parking lot. After a few hours, the cheese is spilling into the interstate where it causes a massive car pileup. 37 people die and 17 people are seriously injured. And then I say when. I tried hamster milk. The flavor is delicious, but you have to milk like 40 hamsters just to fill a glass. Hey, since we have the cameras rolling, uh, we should go ahead and read my will, don't you think? Uh, let's get a... <laughs> so we get it on record. Uh, we, any, show of hands, anybody want to volunteer to come up stage and uh, read my will? Anybody here, show of hands, anybody? Be... Oh, you, you back here, everybody. Make some noise for our volunteer back here coming up to the stage, all right! After I die, I want my massive fortune of millions of dollars along with my secret underground mansion. What? And my NASCAR race car as well as my military grade helicopter with rocket launchers and super turbo powered boosters donated to my brave and handsome Chihuahua Valentino. <laughs> Signed, Blake Rules. Uh, P.S. Screw you guys. I'm going home to my heavenly father. Yes. Everybody make some noise. <laughs> Folks, let's get serious for a minute. For the last 10 years, I've been getting blackout drunk and smoking a pack of cigarettes every single night. But tonight I can say it's been over three months since I've had a single drop of alcohol or a single cigarette. Thank you so much. <laughs> My friends are blown away. They're like, Blake, after 15 years, how did you quit blackout drinking and smoking a pack of cigarettes every night? Well, I came up with a method that works. It can work for you, it worked for me. It helped me quit after 20 years of blackout drinking and smoking a pack of cigarettes every night. The corn dog method. Every time I even think about having a drink or a cigarette, I eat an entire corn dog. My roommates threw a party People were drinking and smoking all night long. I ate 17 corn dogs that night. 
Sometimes I don't even cook them. I got kicked out of the grocery store because this guy was like, hey, you can't just buy all the corn dogs. And I was like, yes, you can. There's no rule that says that. And yeah, my stomach hurts really bad right now. <laughs> People are always asking me, Blake, how are you so bald? <laughs> and yet still so cool. <laughs> well, I started balding pretty young. Uh, I was seven. <laughs> By the age of eight, I had a full-grown beard. And by the age of nine, I had my own wife and kids. <laughs> and starting a family that young can really drive a young boy to alcoholism. That's when I was nine, now I'm 39. For 30 years, I got blackout drunk and smoked a pack of cigarettes every night. I threw my whole life away. I could have been somebody. And now I'm here, headlining my living room. <laughs> but enough about me. We can talk about something happy or change the subject to something else. I'm poor. I don't have any money. I, uh, I'm in debt, I'm less than poor, I'm negative poor. I can make money and still be poor. I'm poor, this, uh, this girl asked me if I felt like raising kids. I said, I feel like I've gotta check and see if it's okay with my roommates first. <laughs> and I know what you're thinking, it's Blake Rules. He's probably rich and famous, but the truth is, I'm just a poor, boring... What'd you say? Poor, boring, <laughs> stupid idiot. J Hell. Just Hell like yeah. this guy right here in the door. Hell yeah. Hell exactly yeah. like this guy with the glasses. That, this Hell guy. Yeah. I got you $20 outside. Meet me outside. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> I work a day job. I'm a... Uh, I'm a line chef in a pizza restaurant, which means I put the pepperonis on. Yeah. I probably touch a thousand pepperonis a day. <laughs> the other day, my manager said, Blake, is everything okay? I said, no. So we sat down in their office. They said, what's wrong? I said, I feel like I'm going crazy. I I've told the same joke to five different audiences and I think it's brilliant. No one's laughing. It's making me feel like I'm crazy. So what's the joke? I tried hamster milk. <laughs> the flavor is delicious, but you have to milk like 40 hamsters just to fill a glass. And I think, it's, I think it's brilliant because I, I picture uh, a hamster holding on for dear life to both sides of a pint glass while I'm in there with, with you know. And my manager said, no, man, double down. He said, don't give up on the joke. The fact that people don't laugh at it, that's what makes it funny. It, you keep telling it, it's going to get funnier and funnier and funnier. <laughs> and tonight I realize that I'm a 39-year-old professional comedian. And I'm taking career advice from a 27-year-old... How old are you? 33. 33-year-old <laughs> manager of a pizza restaurant. And, uh, that was good, Doc. Thank you. Well, it's great to be here in Austin, man. There's, uh, there's so many comedians in Austin, it's not even funny. 
My roommate Jeff wrote that one. <laughs> it's hard being brilliant, you know? Because uh, I feel like extremely brilliant, crazy, intelligent artists have to sound crazy to normal people because normal people will say things to you like, hey man, did you catch the game last night? Hey, it's gonna rain later today. <laughs> Truly crazy, brilliant, genius artists will walk up to you and just say the most random thing like, I tried hamster melt. <laughs> Right, right? The flavor is delicious. But you, He's you gotta melt like hamsters. 40 hamsters just to fill the glass. You guys have been awesome. Thank you so much. My name is Blake Wills.